Okay, here we are. So today we're going to be working with Barbara's Red, which is an amazing, powerful healing color. My name is Chetna. I co-founded the Laughing Rainbow Mystery School in 1987. I've been working with mystic and shamanic principles since then, and I call my work Vision Voyages because we journey together to gain vision, to increase our awareness, to be more in touch with our inner reality, to know ourselves more deeply, and to be empowered with that energy and hold that energy in the world. I can see some of you popping in now. So as we tune in together today, we're just going to relax. I'd like you just to close your eyes and I'm going to move through the directions in the three worlds just to anchor our practice and create the sacred space for us to work in. So um, Barbara's Red, just before we begin, Barbara's Red is a really important color. Like there are a lot of riots going on right now. There are a lot of people really upset. And how do we... How do we um, to manage those energies and bring them and transform them into healing energies? People have the right to be upset. People are entitled to their feelings. But how do we express our upsetness without harming anyone else? And Barbara's Red helps us to get in touch with that really deep-seated, passionate energy it's a vital life force energy. It's the part of us that wants to be free. We, we want to break all the shackles, but we don't want to harm anyone else. So we're going to work today with dealing with managing like anger management, but to use that life force energy and, and express it without sending it to anyone else, not harming anyone, but allowing ourselves to feel what we feel, and then let that life force energy be something which vitalizes us, that we are conscious. Conscious anger is very different than sort of um, embedded old rage. You know, it's, it's a very different energy. So using anger consciously, it's one of the most important skills a skill set, especially for the new world we're creating. I mean, to manage your emotions, to, to be conscious of your emotions, to move consciously with anger. When we have these really strong, impassioned energies, these are the easiest ones to lose consciousness with. So how do we befriend our anger? How do we work with, you know, the ally of Barbarous Red? It's a phenomenal ally. And, you know, we're, we are entitled to our um, learn from our deep-seated wounds, ancestral rage, sometimes through our line. We have anger and memories of anger, our own or our ancestors or things we carry from past lives. But this force of energy can be used for consciousness and for awakening. So how do we harness the power of our anger to become more awakened? to become more empowered, not to be victimized or manipulated by others, but to stand in our power and use it for good. You know, uh, righteous anger. Think of Jesus in the temple with the money changers. He just, this was a sacred place. He didn't want them doing business there. Go outside, not in my father's house. He said, go, and he destroyed what they were doing. So, you know, sometimes boundaries, we need that sometimes that energy arises in us to create boundaries. So I'm going to begin with the boundary of creating sacred space now together. So join me. I'll just tell you what I'm doing and you can join along. Um, and if not, you can just close your eyes, meditate and relax as we welcome in the powers of the direction. So first we're acknowledging the spirits of the East and we're thanking them for their love and support as we work together today or this evening, depending where you are on the planet, our beautiful planet, our great mother earth. So the East, feeling the blessings come from the East, the love and the supportive energy, acknowledging that in your heart or wherever else in your body, you might feel the energies of the East, just thanking them. 
And we move to the south now. The noonday sun high in the sky. That energy, think of the south where you live. Cast your awareness to the south from where you are presently standing or sitting where you are. And thanking the spirits of the south, the loving, compassionate, wise ones who wish to guide you and support you. We thank you, spirits of the south. And breathe in the energy from the south and let it go. Thank you, spirits of the south. And now our attention to the west, the setting sun. The sun dipping below the horizon, thanking the spirits of the West for their support and their love as we work today. And feel the love coming from the sacred ones in the invisible surrounding you as you work. They are here waiting for us to ask for their help. Thank you, spirits of the West. And bringing our attention to the north, uh, spirits of the north, thanking them for their support and their love and their holding. And feel that in your heart and wherever else you might feel that. Okay, they're coming in now, full force. So much bliss, so much bliss is available to us. Just opening directions, it's amazing. And thanking all the help, helpful, loving spirits in the lower world, we thank you for your love and support as we work today. Where the power animals reside, these loving, compassionate beings, such beauty and grace compassion that hold us. Thank you. And thank you. And now we move to the middle world where we reside and we thank the elementals and the nature spirits and the spirit of our homes and the spirit of our villages and towns and cities where we live. We thank the spirits for holding us the invisible, beautiful spirits of place. We thank you for your support as we work. And we're doing our work so that we don't create toxins in the world. You know, the middle world is where we reside and we send out positive energy. So we thank them for supporting us to be more positive. And in turn, that, that reciprocity, that mutual relationship. And we thank the upper world spirits now, the wise ones, the sages, the angelic, the archangelic, the colorway masters, all the wise ones throughout the ages who have lived on earth and also in other dimensions who are here to help us to meditate, to raise our awareness and become more conscious and to support us through these amazing changes that are happening in the world now. So we create a world of beauty and we dream the right dream. Yes, the ancestors, the native peoples, the indigenous and the Americans, uh, the Americas have said we're dreaming the wrong dream. So now we, we call in the beings that help us to dream the good dream and feel the shivers moving down your spine. Feel the support and the love coming from the beyond, which is actually here now. All the worlds overlap all the time. We're just not conscious of it. And so we're very focused on our three-dimensional reality. And then we can open our perceptions to receive the energies from the invisible realms, the angelic, the archangelic. Colors are like color angels or color masters. But we also have loving, compassionate ancestors and wise ones who guide us. And so these are the ones we've welcomed into our circle this time at this time. So um, breathing into your belly, become really aware like of where your belly button is. If you put your thumb into your belly button and you rest the palm um, on the space between your hips, that is known as your hara or the dantian. And a lot of our power is there. And I'd like you to do a little, we're gonna do a little power breathing, like a breath of fire. And we're gonna breathe through our nose and we're gonna breathe in through our nose and breathe out through our nose. And just feel like you're 
pumping the center, your hand is going to move up and down, right? So when you breathe out, your belly button's coming into your spine. And this stokes the fires. In the Kundalini yoga tradition, this is pumping the navel. And this is a plexus here where 75,000 meridians intersect. This is a power center for us. It's a big plexus. A few more breaths. You might become aware now, you can stop the breathing, of that heat arising and filling your body, moving around in your energy body. Yeah. And just some slow, deep breathing now. And we're calling in the teacher of Barbarous Red. Barbarous Red. Barbarous Red. Barbarous Red. So Barbarous Red for COVID patients and people, Barbarous Red really helps the blood to pump around the body. It really is a heart energy, the blood circulating, oxygenating in the lungs, getting the iron, absorbing the oxygen and moving it around the body into all the tissues that need it for self healing and repair. So you can journey with Barbarous Red to activate self healing. Um, oftentimes when we work with the colors, Barbarous Red comes in when someone's had an operation and it helps to clear off the anesthetic. You kind of, at first we were thinking, my reaction was like, Barbarous Red, this person has just had a major operation, life surgery, like why would I want to send them by Barbarous? You know, that kind of, ah. And um, actually that's exactly what we need sometimes to come out of the shock of surgery. It's that, Oh, lust for life and just going for it sort of energy. Um, the berserkers cry when the warriors are fighting and they go into war. It's that barbarous red, you know, ah, you know, it takes over. It's another part of our energy and adrenaline can surge and we can get amazing tasks done. We can access different energies within ourselves. But to work with barbarous red consciously, is another story when we are triggered sometimes we have rage which is stored anger and i think it's a lot of what we're seeing right now in the world is a kind of rage going on people are raging um at what's happening around the world the fellow who was um you know the police had crushed this man's uh, ability to breathe and people are really angry um and there are peaceful protests of saying enough is enough. We don't want this anymore. We need to change what's happening there. And then there are people who are feel really um, aggressive and are fighting. So the thing is, is um, how do we harness that energy, that life force vitality within ourselves and use it for creation rather than destruction? You know, you can access that energy. It's enormously powerful. And you know how you, it feels when you allow the rage to go through your system and then afterward it's like the burnout you feel or the exhaustion or the fatigue, the tiredness that comes in after a great sweep of emotion. It could be sadness or the for Barbara's read the rage. So this ally is a wonderful teacher to help us to align ourselves and harmonize with that energy without going splat. So, um, <coughs> Excuse me, I drink a little water. I'm going to invite you now to do a little journey with me to Barbarous Red. And you're going to ask Barbarous Red to give you a method you can use. And this is one of the formulas we work with in Medicine for the Earth that Sandra Ingman started. Um, give me a method I can use to transform and transmute this anger and rage when it arises in me and I want to like lash out, but how do I express this energy without sending it to anyone or without harming anyone? You know, even if you express that, if you express that energy consciously, it can come out of you, but it doesn't have to be directed 
into uh, the gen general field, like how do you make it more conscious? I think even being conscious that you're angry can change the way the anger affects and impacts others. So there is an aspect of when you release rage or anger, it goes out. And in a shamanic view of illness, this is one of the main causes of um, what we call intrusions. So people send darts of their anger to other people and you can make other people ill through doing that. And it's not a conscious thing, mostly. I mean, some people do it consciously and that's black magic. But if you're unconsciously doing it, it still goes out and can be harmful. So you want to be sure when you have a negative thought, if you're really angry with someone all the time, that you consciously say, you know, I'm really angry, but I don't want to send it to that person or anyone else. <coughs> it's funny, I'm choking talking about this. More water. So how do we express and release you, you know, we have the feeling this is not about a spiritual bypass. This is not about suppression or denial of what is actually happening to you. You know, you get triggered, you're angry, but you don't want to pollute the environment, the invisible world with your rage. You know, there are things you can do. Doesn't mean you shouldn't have your rage. You need to learn from your rage. So you need to be conscious of what's triggering you and um, you know sometimes the charge from your upsetness or anger is a deeper seated reason um, and I'm not talking about the situation on the world right now I'm talking about in your daily life you know someone says something to you and you know tensions are fraught right now a lot of people in lockdown are snapping at each other at home and there can be like, ah, you know, people can feel upset and things. So you need to look at even in those small interactions, how we can bring ourselves into feeling more in harmony in ourselves and to allow love to flow. And if someone's triggering you, like look at what's getting touched inside of you. And so this is where meditation comes in and supports our shamanic practice. And this is where we're responsible for the energies you know, we wouldn't have to do shamanic healings if everyone was conscious of what they were sending out. You know, you wouldn't send intrusions to people accidentally, unconsciously. You'd be conscious of what you were doing and you'd go, oh, I want to, I feel what I feel, but I don't, I don't want that to harm anyone. So we're going to do a little journey together right now and I'll guide you through it because some of you haven't journeyed, but I'll just say... Seeing yourself in the place in nature that you love, surrounded by loving, wise, compassionate beings. Could be your power animal, could be a loving ancestor, could be a dear friend, someone you feel safe and protected with. And we're asking Barbara's Red to come to us now. And for Barbara's Red to help us express the anger we feel in a way that no one gets harmed. So show me the best way to neutralize the negative impact of my anger so it doesn't go into the environment and hurt anyone else, even the plants, the trees, and those poor cushions that we beat. How to neutralize the anger, the effects of expressing the anger. Give me a method I can use. So you pop, you've expressed something, how to neutralize the energy so it doesn't harm anybody. And in this time, the answer will come to you. Just be soft, just be open to any impression you receive right now. Barbara Shred, show us the methods we can use to express and not send.
Barbara Spread is giving us a ceremony to do together right now. So I'm going to lead you through the ceremony now. Imagine yourself, all of us together here in the circle. We are meeting with Barbarous Red. We're going to the dimension of Barbarous Red, which overlays our planet and all the anger and rage that's being felt around the world. Barbarous Red is creating a circle of fire for us. And we are to step inside each one of us. I want you to see that circle of fire. And we are each going to step through the fire into the center of this huge circle of barbarous red energy. So step over the line. The flames will not hurt you. These are barbarous red etheric energies. And they are going to cleanse you. And they are going to remove the negative energies of the rage and anger. They're going to purify and transmute the impact or the punch that expressing your anger will surge out into the world. And as we step into that circle together, we are being purified and cleansed in this ceremony by the element of fire. And we move closer toward the center and we are forming a circle together. You might wish to put out your hand to the right and put out your hand to the left, placing your right hand down and your left hand up. And we are joining up energetically now in this circle. And we are holding this energy, a positive flow of energy together to neutralize the negative impact of all the anger and rage that's being expressed in the world right now. All the rioting that's, we're bringing it into like a steady heartbeat, a pulse beat. Yes, we see and witness in the center of the circle, the atrocities. We witness them, we watch them, we see them. And we are steady at the periphery of the circle. And behind us are the barbarous red flames, which are a purification. Just breathing in that energy together and becoming aware of each other in the circle. Just feeling that beautiful pulsation together. And we are holding this witnessing consciousness of the brutalities. Yes, we see them and we are calling in the angelic and higher fields of awareness, of witnessing awareness to neutralize the negative impact and to bring peace and harmony back into people's hearts to acknowledge the upset and the rage to transform circumstances consciously so that these things do not happen anymore to stop the cycle of degradation we see our consciousness transforms we will not tolerate this obnoxious behavior this hateful behavior, we allow the love of the beyond, of compassion, that barbarous red, pulsing, vital life force energy to be neutralized in negative expression, to take that energy back, to own the energy, to witness the barbaric impulses and to not act upon them in a vicious way and a harmful way to others. Be aware, being conscious of the urge, expressing 
that urge in a way that no one else gets harmed, allowing frustration and rage to transmute and transform within the chamber of our own hearts, our own consciousness, our own awareness of our own frustrations, our own feeling of disempowerment and anger, allowing that to move through our own system, redirecting that energy back into positive life force energy, life affirmative energy, energizing our oxygenating our blood, energizing our cells, bringing that life force and vitality back to us. The cry of pain and upsetness is because we want more love in this world. We want more life, positive life force in this world. And we are committed to holding the love because only love can conquer these hateful energies, only the love. So we hold that barbarous red energy and allow that turmoil to be enacted within the safety of our circle, allowing it to be held in focus and putting the aggressive energies in the center of our circle, we consciously see and neutralize them and watch it diminish and become smaller and smaller. The rages, the angers, the upsets, becoming more level, becoming diminished. I'm feeling the beautiful, smooth, pulsing energy within our own hearts and bringing your own hands to your own heart. I'm feeling the pulse beat of your own being owning your own barbaric impulses, allowing them to be transformed through the dance, through singing, through creative expression, through running if you need to run. Shaking meditation is wonderful. All these things are available to us. So you might feel anger, but you can shake it out, put on some wild music, dance, release, Feel the heat moving through your body now. No, it's not a menopause hot flush for you. It is actually barbarous red working its way through. And it can feel like that for some people, like a wave of heat comes and tingling. And know that your cells are being restored. So nourishment and receive that anger. Take that power back into yourself and work with transforming your own pain, your own sadness, and allowing the vitality to return to you. It's easy to get caught up in the trauma drama going on, but to befriend Barbarous Red, it's a wonderful ally. I encourage you to, if you journey, to journey to Barbarous Red and continue to work with this. Barbarous Red has so many teachings for us. And particularly if you come from a family line that has a lot of um, physical abuse in it, um, Barbara's Red can do wonders working with your ancestors and transforming pain in your family line. So really, Barbara's Red is a wonderful ally and helps you to be in your vital life force energy and express your upsetness with things in a way where no one else gets harmed. So bringing in the peace to you now. So letting Barbara's Red just flush through. Barbara's Red will often give you extraction. You can go to Barbara's Red for a dismemberment. If you feel upset and you're, ang you're really angry, go to Barbara's Red. You can journey to Barbara's Red and rage and storm around with Barbara's Red. You know, you can um, use a punching bag, punch out the Barbara's Red. Allow those impulses to be there. But, you know, if you used a punching bag, you're building up your own strength and your muscles and you're not hurting anyone. There's lots of ways to express this energy. So let us do that. And as each one of us transforms that energy within ourselves and we consciously work in circle like that, it then sets a template for the world. The dreamers, the visionaries, we experience these energies from the beyond the blessings of Barbara's Red and then it's brought into the world through us and it's a template. You know, we are creating the tracks for the reality train to go down. That's what Caroline Casey talks about. 
And as we pull in these energies and intuitions and messages from spirit, we bring the guidance and love that we're given into this world and we are creating the new templates for the new world. So we're not telling people you're not entitled to feel angry, but we are saying you're not entitled to dump it on other people, transform it, use it to build up your own vitality and then consciously express yourself without the charge and make changes happen in the world. Let's be conscious together and let's be conscious of our anger and expressing things in a way that's safe where no one else gets harmed. So that's the gift of Barbara's Red. Now for the COVID people, I want us just to have a moment of silence together because this is a wonderful healing energy. The energy of Barbara's Red is around. You can feel it kind of bubbling inside. And it's all around the world with this anger. So let us collectively gather this vital life force energy with the help of Barbara's Red and all the Barbara's Red and angels and masters. And let's ask that this vital, beautiful life force energy of human beings be harnessed and redirected uh, into to available healing energy for the people recovering from COVID who are asking for help on the ethers, who are praying to God to please heal them. Let their prayers be answered. Let this energy be harvested and used to create healing and restore vitality to help people return to their vital life force energies and let that energy be redirected and be used for good for whoever is asking for it. So letting go now of that circle, stepping back over the circle of fire and coming back to where you are in your own space, and thanking Barbara Sred for the message you received and for the healings that have gone on for you and for others around the world. Um, we don't know, we're not sending it and directing it to anyone, but we're, we've gathered this collective pool of energies. And we thank the spirits um, for sending it where it needs to go. Even if we're just sending our own angers that we transmuted, let that life force energy go to do good and do no harm and to serve those who are asking for help in the way that you know best. We don't know. We don't need to know. We just offer that with love in our hearts. Okay, so if you have any questions, um, actually I should just put on the screen so I can see them. Um, please feel free to ask me questions about Barbara's Red. And um, this week is the final week for the present color Athenium. And we've been having a really beautiful time. The colors this week that we're working with are mauve, which helps with feelings of despair and depression, and orange chorus, which is about celebrating together in circle. And we've been having virtual circles and having a great time. So um, that will be coming to a close, but I'm going to continue to do Facebook Lives with you guys. Um, we are also planning in the works, we're going to be doing a one-year program where we connect um, once a month for like a day through Zoom. And then each week we have journeys that we're doing together. And then we have other things in, in store, um, tasks and peer work and journey, journeying for each other. But it's going to be an ongoing program. Because of COVID, we normally do our shamanic practitioner training in person. But what we've decided are the components we can teach um, online, we're going to do that for the first year and give people a really good like grounding base for spiritual and shamanic work. And it's really a mystery school. So we're going to contain it in a mystery school setting. We'll be working with the Lime game and the colors in addition to like traditional core shamanic practices. It's a lot more than core shamanism. Um, because I have a mystery school training from 1987, I'm bringing in the tools of the mystery school because people now are wanting to become invincible and empowered. And um, we can do this as a community. So we're going to create a closed group for that. So if you're looking to go deeper and you're looking for a safe, contained place, um, we're going to be doing that program together. So we're, we're pulling together the details of that now. We'll be announcing it in a couple weeks. Um, the next big color theme is in September, 
Um, but we'll be telling you about that in August because we need weeks to prepare it. And you guys, we have to get your charts and all these things through. So, and send you, mail you the materials. So we need time. You can't just sign up last minute. It's harder. You can, but then you miss a lot because you don't have the materials. Okay, so um, if you have any questions, please place them below. I will answer them. And um, I'm thinking of you all and wish you a wonderful week. And, you know, feel those barbarous red energies and just say, yes, I'm alive. I have vital life force energy. I'm going to use this for the fires of creation. I'm not going to throw it into the negative pool of anger that's going on and feed that. I'm asking whatever method you got. <laughs> I'm going to use that method. Thank you for neutralizing that energy so no one gets hurt. And if you want to use that energy, go help the people recovering from COVID or block, you know, prevent COVID from happening and spreading anymore. Okay. So, blessings and love. Bye for now.